Hello guys and welcome to my latest video on the Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game and Games Workshop. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my own collection. This is only part of my collection but it's the bit that I'm, I don't mind sharing on camera to be fair. There's some awful paints that I've done over the years but these are some of my better ones so I'm just going to go through them. Uh, this bottom shelf is entirely dedicated to the Battle of Pelennor Fields. Okay. So you can see there you've got your legions of Moran and Orcs. I mean these took ages to paint. There's so many of them. I mean, that's an ugly gate there though. Big Terry. But you can see there there's a legion of Moran and Orcs. You've got your Mordor Troll. Okay, plastic Mordor Troll. For those who were a bit longer in the tooth with the hobby, you'll remember the old metal one. What a nightmare that used to be to put together. Plastic one's a lot easier. And then you've got the plastic fell beast, um, which was fun to paint. I must say it was uh, significantly easier than the metal fell beast as well. For those of you who are a bit more observant, you'll notice that the Witch King that I've mounted on the plastic fell beast is the old metal fell beast Witch King. So this particular model's for display because it might be a little bit top heavy to play with. But it's more for display really. Then we've got the good side, led of course by the the great King Theoden. I'll just uh, pick that model up, just so you can get a closer look. Because I think this in particular, this is one of my favourites that I've painted, one I'm most pleased about. It's not perfect by any stretch, but it is, for me, it's a, a good effort for the leader of the company. Um, so that's Theoden. We've got his riders, his trusted riders there, the Rohirrim. We've got some footed warriors. For those who play the game, you'll know that you need as many footed warriors as you've got mounted as a crucial rule in case the horse gets killed. And then we've got the cool Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead are some of my favourite ones to paint to be fair because they're so easy and you can whip them up in minutes. Uh, all 20 of them, I think it took me like a couple of hours to do. And they look pretty cool to be honest with you. I'm not saying that they look cool because I've painted them, but generally I love the models. So that's the Pelennor Fields set. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and description. Um, and now I'm going to show you my top shelf, which is my collection of heroes. First and foremost, we've got Frodo. Mount Doom there. All very tired, worn out from his journey, doubting whether he's even going to return home. Sorry, it's been a bit out of focus. Then we've got Sam, his trusted supporter, another ring bearer, very temporarily, his old Sam. But Frodo wouldn't have got far without Sam, we know that. He said that himself. And then we've got the one that held the ring the longest. Gollum. You can see there, Gollum's on a rock. Quite hard to paint that one in my opinion. Hard to get the flesh right, but I'll try my best. We've then got the Hobbit Archer. We've got another Frodo. We've got another Hobbit Archer and another Hobbit Archer. We've then got Haldir. So Haldir the Archer, one of my favourite characters in the Elven realms. Okay. We've then got Gilgalad, Sauron, just an ordinary Elven Shieldsman in the background there. Saruman and Grima. So the old Saruman and Grima, the metal ones. We'll like to get the plastic ones at some point. We've got Seer in the Shipwright. We've got the Sworded Haldir. We've got the plastic Theoden on foot. We've got Celeborn. We've got Gimli. We've got Aragorn. And we've got Gandalf the White. So for me, that's the collection thus far. There's a lot more I want to add over time. But, you know, for so far, so good. I'm enjoying collecting again. And I really need to really get my skates on with some more characters because I've got a lot more that I need to paint. 
massive thank you for watching this video guys. If you like my content and you want to see more, then please click subscribe to the channel. It really helps the channel out a lot. Please like the video. And if you really want to, you can ring the bell and get regular notifications when I put new stuff on, which will be even more frequently. Thanks guys. Bye.